Thank you for tuning in to This Week in Poker. There was a lot of tournament poker action this week, so let's get to it. The Poker Stars Caribbean Adventure, which was a European poker tour event for the first time this year, finished up last night. Bertrand Elke Grosbrier, a member of Team Poker Stars, is now an EPT champion. He earned $2 million and a seat worth 13,000 euros in the EPT Grand Final for besting the record-breaking 1,136-player field. Grosbrier has had a prior EPT Final table experience a year ago when he came second in the Scandinavian Open. His win in the Bahamas, though, is the largest of his career. The runner-up was Hafiz Khan, and he made just over a million dollars. The 2007 Card Player Player of the Year, David Pham, entered the final table of the PokerStars Caribbean Adventure as the chip leader, but he was eliminated in fourth place. On his last hand, Pham flopped two pair, but Bertrand Grasplier rivered the nut flush. Pham exited the tournament with $600,000. That puts him in fourth place in the 2008 Player of the Year race. On the other side of the globe, the Aussie Millions preliminary events are in full swing. The first six events have been played out, and over $1.7 million in prize money has been awarded. Today's tournament is event number seven, which is a pot limit Omaha, and it has a buy-in of just under $3,000. Tomorrow, a tournament that is unique to this series begins in Australia, the $100,000 buy-in No Limit event. Last year, only 18 players pointed up the six-figure entry fee. It was won by Eric Lindgren, and he pocketed $800,000. The runner-up in 2007 was Eric Seidel. This year's $10,000 buy-in six-day Aussie Millions main event begins on Monday. The World Poker Tour recently announced the formation of a ladies' league. The buy-ins for these events will range from $300 to $1,500. The first tournament is scheduled for January 20th at the Borgata in Atlantic City. The tour will conclude on April 13th, which is a $1,500 buy-in event at the Bellagio. It is always a good thing when poker players are able to give back, and this weekend they are right here in Las Vegas. The Operation All-In Charity Poker Tournament is set for tomorrow. It starts at 1 p.m. at the Hard Rock in the Joint. The host of this charitable event is UFC fighter Randy Couture, and all proceeds over the guaranteed prize pool will go to the Extreme Couture GI Foundation. The charity's goal is to raise money for wounded soldiers and their families. Celebrity players in the tournament will include Montel Williams, Mark Cuban, and Jose Canseco. Poker players Sammy Farhad, Jamie Gold, and Todd Brunson will also play for this cause. You can still nab yourself a seat in the $550 buy-in event with rebuys if you are interested in participating. Just give the Hard Rock Hotel and Casino a ring at 1-800-427-7625 to pre-register. Dick Van Patten, father of World Poker Tour commentator Vince Van Patten, is gearing up for the annual Dick Van Patten Celebrity Charity Tournament this weekend. On Sunday the 12th, poker players can ante up for animals in need. The event is sponsored by Petco and Natural Balance, Van Patten's pet food company. Prior to the charity tournament in Palm Springs, Van Patten is going to be honored with a star on the Palm Springs Walk of Stars. And that sums up This Week in Poker. I'm Chris Jarnett. And I'm Lizzie Harrison for Card Player TV.